We've got here the Samsung Q755 inch TV with damaged panel down in the left corner there and lines across it, the left edge is missing. We're going to see if we can replace the panel for a new one. But because this thing is so huge, we're going to have to move to another location to do that. Let's go! Got a fairly flat surface, which is padded. It was very difficult to get the camera angle in a, in a big enough area, but we'll see what happens. Try and lay the TV down on this. It's big and heavy. Remove the stand. The cabinet hasn't been fully clipped back on because I knew that we were going to try replacing the panel later on. So it's still open from the first video. Stand hooks in, which is nice. So if we're lucky, we'll just peel off, clip itself in along the top. So we have to get in there and try and lift that off again. The method for doing getting these things open is there's a small hole there and in the other corner and you get your delicate tool, shove it in there and yoink it upwards enough so that you can get your hand in there and then start pulling pulling up to release the clips and then work it around to the top like that it makes a lot of noise and it is very difficult and then you lift that off we just snapped off the bottom corner didn't we now i'm going to take all these parts off the speaker assembly is just pop off because they're just attached by little bung things and the wi-fi module comes off with that now this front panel remote receiver thing clips off. I don't know if you get a new Samsung logo with the with the new panel. I, think, I don't know if that does that unscrew. There are two screws there. I'm not sure if it comes off though. Oh yeah, Samsung logo comes off. I'll disconnect these parts from the main board. So that stuff comes off. Now I'm not sure about this part, we'll have to see, so maybe that has to come off. Depends if you get another one of those with the new panel. We'll find out once we unwrap it. Now there's the cables going to the panel. There's also this AC power connector that just clips out. Tape. And there's two connectors there for the power and the backlight control. And then there's the backlight connectors, connections, then we've got to lift up the latch, where's the latch here, slide that off, that's the main power board, then there's delicate ribbon cables going to the panel, need to lift up the clips there carefully and slide the, the ribbons out then there's a latch somewhere here lift that board up slightly slide it across now we've got the bare panel which we need to get rid of and bring in the new one. It's not going to be much lighter, is it? Because most of the stuff, most of the weight is the panel. I'll go and get the new panel. It's all wrapped up in a box and difficult to get out. Hold on to your hats. Okay, it's here. Now we've got to work out how to get it out. I guess the easiest way would be to cut the bag open. It comes with strips down the sides of the front so that you can handle it by the edges without breaking it. Okay. 
Okay, we got it out. Okay, so the part number of this new one matches the old one we just pulled out. The old one was manufactured in 2018, when the TV was delivered, I guess. Whereas this one's 8th eighth, eighth month, 2020. So it's a newer... Okay, so the Samsung logo thing comes with the panel. And that brackety thing comes with the panel, so we didn't really need to pull those off. Let's start putting the bits back on. Equalize the charges there. So the main sandy the power board. Yeah, we've got to untape these the backlight connections. Make sure that they're flipped up on the top. That's all latched in properly. Power input connector. In. And we've got some ribbon cables to connect up. And there's some tape just sort of randomly positioned under them, over them, whatever. Then we got some the backlight cables. Do we want to peel that tape off perhaps? Don't know what I want to do with that. Let's just put it over there a bit so that the bend radius is better. I don't even remember how that was on the other one. I guess it squishes down after a while from the force of the back panel pushing on it. Okay. Now speakers, Wi-Fi. And the control. Just soft in there. It's pretty pretty good speakers on this TV. Push in the pegs. And there's a little clip there for the cable to keep it away from the low voltage stuff. Presumably that's as in as it gets. Yeah, check out that speaker on the bottom there. It's so narrow. And the sub port there, and then there's a tweeter thing there, and another port. Probably for that main one. It's quite a, an involved design. That's all good. I'm gonna get this thing back on, which is Weird thing. Just some, it hooks itself in. It was really hard to get that thing off the first time I took it off. That's in. Pretty sure that's in the little button. Does that mean we're ready for a smoke test? Guess. We have to work out how we can lift this up. We can lift it up. Got a one connect cable here. And a power. Just look over. Everything is attached. Not really much to it. Let's juice that up. Backlights come on. Looks like it's doing the business. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to put the back on and put the stand on to actually get this thing up and running properly. So let's do that. Alright, here comes the back. straight on and those little ribbon cables will just get gently pushed down. So at this point we can put the stand on without clipping in anything 
just so we can get it upright and test it. Not sure where we're going to put it to test it because this surface isn't exactly a strong surface because it's the box from another similar TV with the packaging inside it, so it's it's fine for yeah. Anyway, let's get this thing upright. Seems to work. Oh yeah, it makes noise. It looks like a success. We're gonna have good luck today. I can feel it. You're gonna have to lay it down again and clip the back in properly. You can see interesting you can see there's a strip down the the whole edge of the panel to help uh, even the forces of you lifting it by this edge. Seems to be made of foam stuff, and it says there, do not remove until TV is assembled. Yeah, so that's good, because this panel goes right to the edges, there's no easy way of picking it up or moving it. Anyway, we've got to get this laid down, and then we can clip the back on properly, then it's done, pretty much. Other than peeling the whole plastic thing off the screen, we'll leave that for a little while later. Definitely a two-person lift, this thing. Now we just clipped the casing back on. I already clipped a bit in. When the casing's clipped on, it will be safer to move around because it will help with the rigidity. And you also want to make sure you never want to get it open again because it'll be pretty much impossible. All right, I think we're done. Other than peeling that plastic bit off the front, this TV is ready to go. TV is all up and running now. We've got to peel this stuff off the screen. Padded strip things down the edges of the panel so that you don't end up breaking it by pressing on the glass when you're trying to move it around. That's a really good touch. I was concerned that it would be too difficult to move around without breaking it, but with this on it, it makes it a lot better. Well, it makes it possible to move around. So there's various things to peel off here. There's stuff around the the outer bezel. I'm not sure where that starts peeling from. And that releases things that let you peel the front of the screen off. Oh, it stops under the Samsung logo here. Yeah. Then we got this, there's a tab there to pull, but yeah, we've got to get this off first. Do they show it just peeling back? I don't know about that. Oh, it feels like that's going to break the panel. I don't think you can get it off with this. Oh, what? The... Oh, no, it's that. I thought I'd already broken it. <laughs> oh, that's dodgy, isn't it? thought it would be a good idea to leave it on while this is happening so that uh, we can see what stress is being applied to the screen. Yeah, I don't know if there's a better way of doing that. Yeah, that there looks like a crack on the screen, but it's just this backdrop. Very dodgy. That's really concerning. The thing is, this also builds up a huge static charge when you're doing this. You're going to explode something in the tube and <laughs> explode something in the screen and break it. Stuff to peel off on the bottom edge there. Can I look at it? I 
Hmm, exciting video. Well, apparently people like seeing stuff peeled off, so here we go, we're seeing this being peeled off. There goes that other label. Now what? Get this thing off. Yeah, it's quite a, a rigid piece of stuff. It's not just foam, it's quite rigid. Did it! Got this stuff off. Now oh, that this huge thing we don't know what to do with. It's gonna get wrecked immediately. Okay, and I think there's another one down the bottom here. This is the most delicate part of the panel is where the contacts join onto the glass, which is you know, where it was broken. The previous panel was broken in this part. And it's trapped by the logo. There you go, the last little bit is unpeeled, and there's your Samsung TV. Quick, up, up. Well, there you go, awesome, fix the TV. Not so good after all.